Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts and uh, today I thought I'd answer another question that I do get uh, quite a lot. And the question is, is uh, can you defend yourself with a Blackthorn uh, walking stick? And uh, just disclaimer, I am not uh, from a fighting background. I don't have any skills in, in fighting at all. But the way I usually approach this question is the same way if someone asks me, can you defend yourself with, with a pen, you know? <laughs> I can, you know, I, I can poke you in the eye, you know, with a pen. I can throw it at you. You know, like you, you can defend yourself with, uh, with, with any object, really. It just depends on you as a person, what you, you do in the moment and, and different things like that. So I usually kind of just approach the question in that manner because, like, there's guys out there that, that study stick fighting. There's so many disciplines out there. There's the Doyle stick guys, you know, that's that's... You probably recognize that type of thing or you have the uh was it the antrim guys you know and you have uh you have the faction in in france as well and they have their their particular style to uh to, to do it and you have the the russian guys with their stick fighting i've seen them on instagram they're they're pretty good as well so the, the, they make some pretty pretty good fit, uh, videos and pictures so like there's a lot of disciplines out there and there's no correct way it's all just to do with you so the first thing, this is just, again, my thinking. I am not <laughs> anyway quit trained or qualified to give uh, any self-defense uh, tips. But I get the question so much. So, like, you know, as most Irish guys, I'm going to answer it as, as best I can. So um, if you're in a situation where, you know, you're in a, a bit of bother, well, I'll give you the easiest one first, a dog, all right? Defending yourself against a dog. I, I think I have some experience of that because I have a dog and I go walking and... Uh, so if, if you're getting like a ruly dog or something like that out for you, it's just very simple. Like I usually just stamp the stick in front of me, just like this, hey, you know, and just be kind of a firm. And usually just a gesture of like stamping the stick on the ground in front of you, usually we kind of create the, um, you know, to, to keep the dog away from you. Like the last thing you want is a dog to get close enough to you to bite. So you don't want to get close and, you know, if they're being very aggressive and stuff, you just kind of stamp that and you just kind of make your your exit and, and your way against this. Um, I do get questions as well about defending against animals. Like, you know, people have asked me things like, can you defend yourself against a bear with one of these? And I don't know, man. If some big polar bear is coming at you, <laughs> I don't think a, a stick or, or anything will, will help you. Like, and... Uh, you know, I, I know there's there's there, there's proper instructions on guidelines, how to deal with bears and different things like that. But, you know, like it's it's better to have something in your hand or an object than to, to have nothing at all. And um, like from my own type of experience, like with with self-defense and, and sticks, I think the best advice that I can give is just try to talk your way out of it. Um, you know, most people said, can you defend yourself with with a black thorn walking stick? Like the best tool you have is your voice first. Um, like whenever I've been in, um, you know, a, a heated discussion or anything like that, I usually will try to talk my way out of it. Like the last thing I want to do is, is get punched in the face or get into some altercation or, you know, get, get some, some ruckus going. So the first thing I'm going to do is just talk my way out of it. Just get away from it. Like what's, what's the point? Uh, you know, it's not, not, uh, you know, it's not that important to me if someone's annoyed with me. Um, so the, the, the first bit of advice is you is just kind of like talk your way out of it and just try to, to get away and just try to like move, move away or something like that. And of course, in, in some situations, that's not going to be possible. So, um, what I would say is like the useful thing of the black thorn walking stick, you can kind of create space, you know, like depending on your skill level, like I have zero skills. So, you know, if, if someone was was getting aggressive with me and it was one-on-one, -on -one. you know, I, I'd make sure I'm away from them, uh, their punching distance. Like you don't want to get close enough that you can get punched in the jaw and, uh, you know, get, get, uh, get knocked out there like uh, Deontay Wilder or something like that. You know, if you're against a guy like Fury and stuff like that, you, you do not want to get close enough that, that uh, Tyson Fury can get a, a nice, nice punch in you as well. So, the first thing, like, you know, I would just say is just create some space, talk your way out of it, um, create some space. Um, you know, you don't need any really, you know, mad skills or something like that in the moments. Like, you know, you can go out, you can do training, you can learn how to hold a stick, what to do if you want. But, you know, even just waving it around, you know, you're, you're going to create a bit of space. So, you know, like a black thorn stick is pretty strong. 
you know, and it has a good, good knob on that. If you get one clout of that into the head or, or anywhere, someone's going to feel it as well. You know, if you hit, you hit someone on the elbow, like, you know, if they're putting their hand up like that, you know, I'm trying to think, look, does it hurt there? Not really, not really, not really. Ow. There. So, you know, if, if someone, someone's against you and stuff and you're waving, you know, I would say just, just hit, hit some, hit them somewhere where it hurts. You know, it's, uh, it mightn't be the, uh, the, the correct way to, to, to defend yourself, but like, you know, um, I remember I watched, um, a self-defense video from Bass Rutan, the MMA fighter, and, uh, it was really, really good. Like, he was like, you know, you're in, you're in an altercation and, you know, he headbutts and he, he, he hits all like, uh, moves that will, will hurt you as well. A kind of like a, <laughs> a dirty way to fight. But the, uh, you know, if you're in a situation, you got to defend yourself, you know, you got to like, you know, create space, just kind of jab. Like, you know, if you, if you have some boxing skills, you know, you can hold it like in a boxing type of way. There's, you know, there's no correct way in the moment. I suppose that, um, it's all about just creating space. You have an object in your hands. You can, you can inflex, flick some pain. If you hit someone with this in any way or anyhow, you're going to, you're going to hurt them. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the, the only advice I can give you as well, because it's like such a common question. Every single guy asks me, is it good for self-defense? Is it good for self-defense? Well, look at it. You have, you have a three foot object with a good solid handle. So is this good? to defend yourself yeah of course it is like which we which would you prefer to defend yourself defend yourself with a pen or to have a black torn shillelagh in there as well and sure it was it the, the guys in in boston do that thing where they do the shillelagh curse you know where they 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 wheel it around like this <laughs> i've seen that it's a uh, one of the uh the guys in the the crowds of those football matches doing the little uh with the the shillelagh spin to to, to curse your enemies so um I don't think kind of cursing people will, will, will do you much in there as well. But look, by all means, like share the comments below. Like, um, you know, how would you guys answer it? Like, so is a shillelagh good for self-defense? Like, what do you guys think? It'd be interesting to hear your comments. It's like, it's one of the most common things I get asked at the whole time. Usually I just refer guys to, to not, uh, you know, to, to try to get away or, or to, uh, you know, just to create space and, uh, you know, enough that you can kind of get away and stuff like that. And, uh, to go just, uh, you know, with your own own abilities and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, be interesting to hear because I know that a lot of you guys are from military backgrounds that have a lot of martial arts experience as well. So, um, you know, I'll leave you with that. So is a black drunk shillelagh good for, you know, defense? Let's hear your thoughts.